think, think, I think, think it's true. I think, think, I Alrighty. think it's true. Just getting home after running a bunch of errands. <laughs> I don't know why, but it always seems like I wait last minute to do everything that I have to do before a big trip. <laughs> but I got a fresh cut. Shout out to my boy Sam. Dang, he does such a good job. If you guys ever come to Charleston, Luciano's Barbershop, holla at me. I'll set it up. He's the best for sure. But yeah, I still got to pack my suitcase. I don't like, don't ask me why. No idea why I couldn't do it last night or the day before. I have to wait till the day of to pack. <laughs> Mr. Last Minute, call me. That's me. All right, so just finished my Chick-fil-A. I actually stopped in Charlotte for the night, visited a friend. Tried to knock out three hours of the trip so I didn't have to drive the full six this morning before I started playing. But, um, yeah, I woke up at 8.30. Actually, before 8.30. Shout out to my boy BK for waking me up because I'm not a morning person. But Feeling good, though, and got about a two-hour and 45-minute drive ahead of me. Uh, I love this drive, though, in the mountains. and I love it just elevation, being high up because in Charleston we're super flat. It's also known as a low country because we're only two feet above sea level. So anytime that I get to drive on hills, I love it. Oh, Cherokee, here I come. Cherokee, I made it. I love that drive. Like I hate being in a car. I'm just so tall and scrunched over and stuff. But shout out to my buddy Jason for letting me use his Prius. He went on a cruise and he was leaving out of Charleston. He's like, hey man, you can use my car and take it to Cherokee so I don't have to spend money on a rental. And then my brother's picking me up in like six days and we're going to a wedding. So it just worked out. Um, karma <laughs> it's crazy my mom's like see Corey it's because you always help people anytime something good happens to me that's what she says her voice comes into my head oh, I feel like I'm in an airplane though oh that's how you really know you're in the mountains all right time for some poker thank you oh sorry that's okay. I didn't mean to throw it at you what's up I knew that, I knew I could count on you being right here <laughs> How the best you? hugs. How are you? What's up? What's going on, man? How are you? Good. Trying to get this airplane feeling out of my ears. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. Uh, you got any secrets? Uh, no. Oh, oh I just did. Oh, only in one ear, though. You have to. Oh. I gotta do. Uh, I gotta do the other one. Yeah, pinch your nose. Because I was holding my phone. I gotta yeah. do. All right. Good to go. Yeah. Thank you. Right here. Have a good one. You too. Good luck. Thanks. What's up? Alrighty, my first break in Cherokee. It's the second break of the tournament though, because I got here a little bit late. And off to a great start. Uh, 10,000 starting stack, I have 32,000 now. Going back to the 600 big blind, awesome table. Uh, they weren't really talking at first, but I just kept going. And now the whole table's loosened up and we're all chatting. So it should be a nice, fun, long day. Uh, this is a one day tournament too. I didn't realize it was gonna be 30 minute levels throughout. I thought it was gonna be a turbo structure. So <laughs> if and when I final table, it's gonna be pretty late, but uh, you know, being here till 6 a.m. wouldn't be a bad thing if I can leave with a ring. Let's go! Dinner break now, and it's been a pretty good last two hours. I have 72,000 going back to the 1600 big blind in 45 minutes. Feeling good, thinking bink, even though I'm not wearing a shirt. I got the bracelet! What up, Clint? You better make an appearance. Yo. Yo! One move poker. Check him out. Seven. <sighs> First break after dinner. I did it again, man. God, I did it again. I had heaps of chips. Just winning pot after pot, you know, picking my spots as I can, and then I just want to pull a huge bluff. 
Okay, so my phone died in the middle of that last video, but uh, basically pulled a huge bluff, was down to 10 bigs, and now I'm in ninja mode with uh, 15 people away from the money, so um, one hand at a time. Alright, player! Bubble's taking a while. There's rumors that we might be in the money. <laughs> Made it in the money. So, <laughs> step one complete. I had to walk out here to do a video because if Alan sees me, he might ban me from Harris. So, can't risk that. <laughs> this feels like a really familiar scenario though to the HPT where I had a bunch of chips, bluffed it off, just ninja'd in. So, now I hope for a better result. Let's do this. Two hands after the money bubble broke, guys. He got me. <laughs> Ace King beats King Queen. Good luck, guys. You know, on the bright side, at least I didn't bubble. <laughs> and I made money in my first tournament in Cherokee, so can't complain about that. Uh, I'm a little tired after waking up early today, so I'm just gonna go into the room, which for the first time, I'm not staying at a cabin. I'm actually staying at Harris. A friend of a friend's a big gambler, and he uh, got comped a suite. So, what up, G? <laughs> Shout out to G, I appreciate it. So yeah, I'm just gonna get a good night's sleep uh, and come back fresh and crush this re-entry. Should be like 120,000 for first or something. So, would be a good one to bink. Would definitely be a good one to bink. <laughs>